Thank you. Bye. Thank you. So I just got off a flight from Bangkok to Taipei. And it is Tuesday, October 25th, I think. Right around 5 p.m. local time. I'll be boarding a flight to Toronto in about two hours. So for this one, I'm just going to be transiting through the Inter International Airport here in Taiwan. So after a short walk, I'll have to pass through a security screening. So we'll just follow the transfer sign there. And when I flew in from Toronto to Taipei on my way to Bangkok, there was a very long lineup at that security screening. was flying with Eva Air, and this airport would be their main hub, I guess that's what you would call it. Transfer to all Eva flights. So I'll have to stop recording once I'm in security, which I think is right around the corner here. Thank you. Here we go, and I will resume once I'm through. And look at this, virtually no lineup. This is pretty awesome. All right, so that took all of one minute. There's my flight, BR 036, 740, C6. Alright, so gate C1 and C10 are off to the left. I've done this combo of flights from Bangkok to Taipei a number of times and then connecting to Toronto. And I've never had a tight connection. And this part looks modern and redone. Maybe this was done over the pandemic. I think this airport opened back in the late 70s. And it's since become one of the busiest in the world, actually. I think it's 10th or 11th.
And there's the bathroom. And a Gucci. So this is the central part of the airport here. It's kind of weird that you go up in the left side of the escalator. So I'm just going to come up and check this area before I find the gate. Because the last time I came through here, before the pandemic, there were free showers and we were reconfiguring this whole area. And it looks quite different now. There's the Eva Air VIP lounge over there. And we'll look down at where I just came from and a sign saying gate C1 to C10 are straight ahead. Noting both of my ears are popped. And I hear the sound of air swirling around them. There's a cafe, a Mickey D's. But the highlight are the free showers. I think on the other side, if I keep going straight, there will be a Moss Burger. That third character symbol is pretty interesting. Well, those are just restrooms. Remember, there were being showers here at one point. Maybe they took those out. And it is very quiet on this side. And I think that'll connect you to the domestic gates down there. Massage center. Oh, we can get a peek outside. That is a lot of taxi cabs. There's some networking infrastructure just out in the open. Singapore Airlines. I found the free showers. So you can just come on in. So what I used to do was I would just bring like a hand towel in my luggage and that would be enough because they don't supply you with a towel. After a long flight from Toronto all the way to Taipei, 
It's always nice to be able to hop into the shower. And here is the Mo Mossburger or Mosburger. It's a chain I first encountered in Korea. It's a Japanese burger chain. All right, I wanna head over to those escalators and then we'll walk over to the gate. Sadly, it doesn't look like everything has reopened. There's a Burberry, a large duty-free shop. So most of the airport does not look like this. It looks a lot more like that first area where I came out. It's got a pretty old and dated feel. But it's always been functional. I'm already connected to the free Wi-Fi, which is quite fast. Oh, there's a air maze. I still probably pronounce that wrong despite being corrected a thousand times. And all the gate areas are pretty much the same, so once you've seen one, you'll pretty much know what most of this airport is like. Although they do have themed boarding rooms, so I guess that's one difference between them. One was themed to a movie theater before. It had a Hello Kitty themed airport lounge. It even ended up on a Hello Kitty theme plane before, which was pretty weird. Speaking of Hello Kitty, man, my right ear is just going nuts. After this video, I'm gonna buy some gum. This has got to be a very quiet time for this airport. I think Taiwan as a country still has some restrictions in place which make it a little less desirable for international travelers. That might have something to do with it. Bathrooms left, food left. So this is what much of the airport looks like. There's my gate. These people are had early and then 
You head down to the boarding area. That's where you hang out while you wait to board. I'm still a bit early. Let's see, boarding, it's 5.24. My boarding is just after seven. We'll just head, head down this way a bit. Prior to the pandemic, most of these places would be open. So it looks like it's definitely taken its toll in this airport. Sadly, there doesn't appear to be nearly as many food options as there used to be. There's a water refilling station. There's a food court area here. And a pretty neat but surely overpriced store. I've looked through there before. And it is definitely Overcast day. So I think this just keeps going down until you get to see one. There's another gate. This one's got a bit of a theme to it. And that is for a flight to LA. And this washroom is out of service. I think that's about it for now. I don't know if I'm gonna resume recording once I'm ready to board, but I hope you enjoyed this one up to this point so far. I gotta go fix my popped ears and maybe get a bite to eat. So thank you for watching and hopefully I'll be back to finish this one off. Okay, so it's about 15 minutes to boarding. I spent some time up in that area around the McDonald's. I had a bite to eat. And here comes the flight crew and the flight attendants. So what? Oh, I will do is I will wrap this one up. But I hope you enjoyed it. As I departed my plane from Bangkok and wandered through this airport here in the awesome country of Taiwan. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you wish to support the channel, there are links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button appearing below these videos. Anywho, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.